Morning guys, it's 7 a.m. on uh, Sunday the 10th of January and I'm bringing you a bit of a different vlog today because I'm out on the road. I'm actually doing something a little bit different to what I normally do on a Sunday. I'm heading to the Chelsea Football Academy in Cobham and, uh, and I'm going to be spending the morning teaching some of the junior players and some of the families that host them how to cook because um, it's something I've wanted to do for ages now because I just you hear these rumours right about footballers eating a lot of Nando's and um, you know that's chicken it's all good but there, there's more to life than Nando's and that's hopefully what I'm going to go teach them today so I'm heading up there on the train and uh, I'm going to spend the morning going through a few recipes and then afterwards we're going to go and watch Chelsea the the main team playing Scunthorpe which is going to be a huge match my prediction is 4-0 to Chelsea um, and anyone who knows me is going to laugh at this blog because anyone who knows me will realise that I I'm not a football fan. I never have been. I don't know anything about football. Uh, when people ask me what team do I support, I don't know, I normally feel a bit awkward about it actually because I have to say, um, well actually I don't really support football and you just kind of feel like they look at you as if to say, well, what the hell do you do then? <laughs> but, I don't know. I might get into it. I think I could get into it. I mean, you know, already I'm feeling like an affinity to the club because I feel like, you know what? I want to show them like, you know, I'm going to show them some great recipes. I'm going to show them some really, really healthy food. And, um, and then I'm going to be rooting for them to see that, you know, that produces some results on the pitch. Uh, so anyway, here we go. Let's see what happens. I'm looking forward to it. Okay, so these are the trophies that they've won so far. Now that's without the cooking lessons. Imagine they're gonna need a new cupboard once they start cooking my food. <laughs> I hope. So I've arrived. Breakfast is served in the background. It looks epic. They, they get, they are so spoiled here, I've got to say. They've got the most amazing spread. The chef here is epic. So I'm going to get into the breakfast first. And the house parents are arriving. They're there. And my cooking station is behind me. So I guess this is the point where I should be getting a bit nervous, but I'm just really excited. This is going to be great. This is the moment of truth. They're trying the food. Hope they like it. Did you think it was nice and tasty? Yes! <laughs> 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 so here we go, my second ever football match. Not a bad result. And I'll tell you what, going to the academy first and seeing a couple of the junior players there and then coming all the way here, what an epic day. I mean, like seeing it from kind of start to finish, seeing all the little ones and, uh, and seeing the big guys here who apparently work across the road. That's what it's called when you get into the main team, you go across the road. <laughs> epic. Next time you see me here, I might even have a blue shirt on. 